Hey guys, it's Andy. This is going to be a video that's going to show you when you're on the lot and asking for somebody's business, when they say, I need to talk to my wife about it, I'm going to show you how to overcome it and advance the sale forward and end up closing it down. You guys are going to love this video. Okay, guys, all right. So here we are. I'm going to kind of set the stage, set the scenario for you. So you're outside on the lot. You ask somebody for their business, a husband. Um, and by the way, we could reverse this. Maybe you're talking to somebody's wife and she could say, hey, man, you know, I need my husband to make the decision. That would be fine. That would be fair. And by the way, I'm married, okay? So I've been, I've been in the car business for 23 years, but it is an objection that people get all the time. I need to talk to my wife. When that happens and someone says, I have to talk to my wife, I want you to understand this. That is a stall and that is real. So is there a way that you can do what? Still get them committed, locked down, and advance the sell forward. I believe there is. I do it all the time. And I did it when I sold. And I would tell you, probably 80% of the time, this worked for me. So let's kind of go through it. I'm outside on the lot and I say, hey, you know, is there any reason why you wouldn't be happy taking the home if I, you know, if I can make the deal right? Guy says, you know what, Andy, I need to talk to my wife. And that is going to be the objection. I need to talk to my wife. This is the word track that I want you to use, okay? And I underline specific key words that really are important, that make a big difference, okay? So it kind of goes like this. Um, I need to talk to my wife and I'll say, I completely respect that both of you need to make a big decision together. Would it offend you if I showed you a five minute proposal of what your trading is worth, the best price on mine, and a ballpark of how, the low, uh, how low the payments could be so you can talk it over with her? Also, that way you two can make an educated decision, and I'm sure she wouldn't mind and appreciate it if I saved her some time by showing you all the information up front. Does that sound fair? And guess what? This is something that works almost all the time. Now I'm gonna step out real quick and I want you to pause the video and I want you to kind of look at it. Hey guys, it's Andy. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, please like and subscribe below. Also, click on the link below. Join me in a free strategy session. I'd love to help you set up a game plan to crush it. Let's get back to the video. It says, I completely respect that both of you need to make a big decision together. Would it offend you if I showed you a five minute proposal of what your trading is worth, the best price on mine, and the ballpark of just how low the payments could be? That way you can talk it over with her. I'm sure that you know both of you two you know, need to make an educated decision together. And also I'm sure she would appreciate, notice the keywords, the time right, that we are going to save her that we're getting all this up front. Does that sound good? And here's my goal, all right? So the wife's not here. A lot of you can say, hey, oh, you need to call your wife here. You can use my office. Now, she doesn't need permission to give, you know, to say you can buy. By the way, the wife, the husband, 99% of the time, they already know that they're thinking about buying a car. It's not the first time that it's popped up, so the conversation's been had. In order to get the second half on board with making a deal, it's going to have to be something that's enticing and the, the party that is with you needs to be more invested, okay? Now let me explain what that means. So we found a car, right? See this? We found a car that the hubby wants to buy, okay? We got the wife. She's either going to be one of two places, work or at home. That's what we know. So what happens? You got the car lot. We'll just call this car a lot here. I'm here, the customer's here, and the car's here. The only person we don't have is mama. She's at home or she's at work. So now what do we do here? Well, I, what I want to do is say, hey, let me show you a five minute proposal of all the numbers so that way that, you know, basically when you do talk to her, right, she has everything that she needs or that she would ask you for, hey, what do you think the numbers are gonna be like? You know what, you don't have to say, I don't know, honey, we'll have to come back in here and sit down together and figure out what that is. Guess what? She will physically know what all the numbers will be because you'll have them to give them to her, right? She'll actually appreciate all the time that you have saved her. So with that being said, guess what? This right here is everybody. We just don't have this person. So what my goal to do is to take this hubby right here, okay? And I am going to get him 90% committed. Now watch this. If I want to go over payments, what do I have to get? Credit. Now when somebody gives credit, how involved are they? Man, they're really freaking involved. Think about it. So if this husband over here lets me go look at his trade-in, how involved is he? Man, he's really involved in the deal because I've gotten to see his trade-in. Man, guess what? 
It's, going, it's kind of like I need to think about it. When somebody says, you know, hey, I need to think about it. You say, of course you need to think about it. Look, guys, I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a five-minute proposal of all the figures so when you go home, you truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? Would you mind if I got you those numbers? And then they say, sure, that would be fair. And I go inside, and as I look at their trade, right, and I kind of see what condition it's in, how much they owe, all that stuff, and I get their credit so I can tell them kind of what their payments are going to be and all that stuff, and I get everything. Do you know what happens? The customer is so far into the process that guess what? They're literally a signature away from signing. And if I can take that husband that far which you can, okay? And I've already told him that I don't have a problem with him going home and talking to his wife about it. What I'm betting is on me as a salesperson that I can get him to commit and then I can end up closing him down towards the end with the phone call to his wife. Let's play it the other way. Guy says, my wife isn't here. And guess what happens? I say, okay, cool. When can she come back with you? And then he disappears and I never see him again. Would you rather take the bat of having somebody there with you, going over everything with them, trying your hardest to close them down, or not take a bat at all, and then have hope that they come back with the wife, which a lot of the times is a good chance they won't. And by the way, 10% of the time, you may know that somebody has to have their wife no matter what. Guess what? I can still close them down this way, get mama on the phone afterwards. In order for me to close the husband, right? When he's closed, he can call and close his wife. But if the husband isn't closed and he's bringing his wife back and then I got to close both of them at the same time, here's what I am good at. I'm good at betting on me and making things happen up front. I have created this word track because I need to talk to my wife is a very common objection that we get in the automotive industry. Matter of fact, in every business in life. So if you can become great at this and you have something to say, it'll help you sell more cars. I hope you guys love this video. Rock and roll, man. I hope you guys have a blessed day and keep up the training. Hey guys, congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Obviously, you're the determined ones and you guys crush it. You're the one percenters. I just wanna tell you, number one, I appreciate you and anything you need, reach out to me. If you're struggling with anything, leave a comment in the comment section below. I always answer all my own comments. I'll reach out and help you. Also, don't forget to set up a strategy call with me. It's free, it takes 20 minutes. You can click the link below too and you can join me. I'd love to help you make a game plan to crush it. Hope you guys have a great day.